This portion of the course is going to cover the integumentary system. Now this is a term that most of you have probably never heard of before. I hadn't heard of it until I honestly started teaching anatomy. Really it's something that we're all very familiar with though. Integumentary system stands for the skin, as well as the underlying fat, which we all know in different areas varies considerably. So the anatomy faculty and I really decided that we wanted to start with this portion of the course first, because this is the area that most people are familiar with, it's something that we interact with on a daily basis, and also it's very clinically relevant. If you think about a little kid that's been in the pool and their lips turn blue, that's giving you an indication that something is going wrong inside, so a very clinically relevant area of the body. Now the integumentary system is composed of three different layers. Like I was saying before, it's composed of the skin. The skin is the epidermis and the dermis. These are the two most superficial layers. Epidermis is what you see when you're looking at another individual. You've probably heard the joke, your epidermis is showing. Right underneath is the subcutaneous layer. This is composed of variable amounts of fat. In the abdomen, you have considerable more fat than you would have in the neck region. So very dependent on the individual as well as the area of the body. So not only are we gonna discuss the different layers of the integumentary system, we're gonna discuss the components within. And particularly within the dermal layer, it's actually fairly complex, both in terms of vasculature as well as other components. Specifically, we have different glands. We have sweat glands as well as oily glands. We're going to have sensory receptors. So this will give indications from the external environment. So if something is tickling you or something's causing pain, these sensory receptors will be, uh, will be utilized to get that information back to the central nervous system. And lastly, you're gonna have hair roots within that are going to extend through the epidermis. So we're going to continue this discussion uh, throughout the different layers of the skin. In the next section, we're gonna discuss the functions of the integumentary system.